Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, This and That. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Logitech gaming software, so let's get started. On the bottom left you have a direct link to Logitech's website for all your gaming software and hardware needs. You can download new drivers or update your drivers or you can purchase new hardware. And this is the menu that displays your currently installed devices. You have the home button which displays your current screen right here. If you want to customize your G keys you can click on this button right here and it'll bring you to this menu. Depending on the hardware that you have installed your menu might look a little bit different but from this menu you can add new profiles or create custom profiles or search for profiles. And over here you have commands. You can add new commands to each key. And when you make a new command, you can, you can click it and drag it over to the key and it will change to that command. Next we have your game mode settings, which is this button right here. Again, your profile's up here and you can add one. And this allows you to lock keys when you're playing a game. Uh, if you don't want to accidentally press the wrong key, you can lock that key. And then you will no longer be able to use that key when playing that game. Next is your lighting settings. Down here shows your lighting mode. Currently it's on freestyle, which you can set the color of each key individually. Then you have zones. You can group keys together into color zones. Commands. You can show active game keys while playing a game. Effects. So you can activate custom lighting effects. And then you have your effects. You can create and animate your own lighting effects in any way that you want. This is your effect selection menu. You can add effects or you can change options. Then you have your settings. You can change the direction. You can make it go slower. And you can make it go faster. Or in between somewhere. Next is your input analysis. In this menu, you can check your key press heat map or key duration heat map, and it records all of your key presses, and it shows you which keys that you use the most. And right here, you can install Overwolf. You can adjust your settings by clicking on this gear. You can change your general settings, notification settings, your hardware settings, update your firmware, change your profile, arcs control, and developer. And this is the help icon where you can get help with if you have certain questions. You can click here for help, you can check for updates, product registration, Logitech homepage. You can find them on Facebook, Twitter, and get the latest information and find out more about them. That's it for today's review and I want to thank everybody for watching. If you guys liked the video, please hit the like button, and if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below in the comments section. Also, if you would like to see more videos like this in the future and other product reviews, please hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.